pretending to be us. Read that. Numbers chapter 15, verse 38. Read on. Speak unto the children of Israel and bid them that they make fringes in the borders of their garments throughout their generation. So this is a law that set us apart from everybody else. Read. That they put upon the fringe of the borders a ribbon of blue. It can be any shade of blue, but it has to be blue. We're following commandments. So this is another example how you can tell a false prophet from a real prophet. That's right. Right here, we are actually wearing God's law. That's right. We have finish that up. And it shall be unto you for a friend uh -huh. that ye may look upon it. Uh -huh. And remember all the commandments of the Lord. So the purpose of the friends is to remember God's commandments. Read. And do them. And perform God's commandments. Read. And that you seek not after your own heart and your own eyes. That means your own vain philosophies, your own opinions. It feels good. I, I like you because, I don't know, I just like you. That, that's sin. That's what that's showing you. These fringes are a, a safeguard. When you in the uh, thinking crazy, you're supposed to look down at your fringes and remember the commandments. That's the purpose of us wearing. Read. After which ye used to go a whore. Get that a whore is spiritual okay, whore. So, brother, do you have any questions? Because we're out here for the edification of our people. So, so who are you? What's your nationality? I am black. So your father is black, so far. Okay. So if you were going to sign, who are you? Come on, scrub. We are not here to fight. We're not here to bash. Come, come on. I'm, 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 I'm being very sincere right now. Top one. So you'll be Judah. That's your nationality. That's right. That that's your God-given name. Judah is God's praise. So. With, with African American, do you know where that name came from? Two, uh, two Caucasian men. One Afri Africanus Scipio, Scipio Africanus, which was a general that won in uh, the Second Punic Wars. He, he domesticated uh, the Canaan, that's the landmass, and he called it after his own name, which is Africa. That's not who you are. And then America Van Spucci is where America, America, the, the word America comes from. This name was called Asher in the Bible. It wasn't America, America. Asher, it wasn't America. So that's why you're putting two Caucasian men names to label you. So can, a, can two Caucasian men or Edomites make a so-called Jake or so-called black baby? It's impossible. It's impossible. And then that, that's, uh, that's solid. <laughs> you can't make a baby with two men. It's crazy. I get it, get it. Psalms 49, chapter, excuse me, Psalms 48, verse 11. Huh? Their inward thought is. So this is the inward thought of the Edomites. The Edomites are the so-called white people. I, I want to keep it biblical because their biblical name is Edom. That's they ain't right. white. There ain't nothing white about them. They red as hell. Right. That, that's what Edom means, red. No. Their inward thought is uh -huh. that their houses shall continue forever. So this is their inward thought. That their dwelling places to all generations. Uh -huh. They call their lands after their own name. So what we just brought out, isn't that true? According to the Bible, in history, if you were to look back, the name of the land masses are named after Edomite or so-called Caucasian men. Right. It's named after them. So that's a true statement. Finish it out. Nevertheless, man being in honor abideth not. He is like the beast that perish. So this Edomite, he's worthless. He, he ain't no God. So that's why he wants, he wants his name to re reside in a place so you can always remember, oh, uh, good old slave master. It's a mindset thing. That's why we're out here to change the mind of our people. Stop selling on the Sabbath. Right. Stop selling drugs to our people. Right. Stop, uh, change your clothing. I mean, we got, we got article of clothing that we have to wear. Did you know that? Just fringes. What about the women? What do they have to wear? Let's get that. Do one in 22 or 5. Bring it out. Because this Bible shows us always, like, really, how to build ourselves up from a decayed state to a God-like nation. That's the purpose of it. It's to teach us God's laws to perform them and exalt God's laws through our actions. That, that's the purpose. Read. Deuteronomy chapter 22, verse 5. Read on. The woman shall not wear that which pertaineth unto a man. So what pertains to a man? What clothing? 
pertains to a man. What clothing pertains to a man, belongs to a man. That's what pertains to Pants, you don't. The woman shall not wear that which pertaineth unto a man. Neither shall a man put on a woman's garment. So what's a woman's garment that a man should not wear? What, the dress? A dress, bra, panties. All that, uh, you know that they're making men's dresses now? That's foolishness, that's going against God's laws. The other nations know who we are. Actually, give me that in Judah. The other nations know who we are. They have everything set up for us to fall in the midst of sin so our Heavenly Father will not come down. Because we made an agreement with our Heavenly Father. If we stay out of sin, He's going to support us. If we're in sin, He's going to turn His back on us. Judah, ja Judah, chapter 5, verse 20. Read, now therefore, my Lord and governor. So let me give you the history. This is the book of Judah. This is a uh, Amorite chief captain that was speaking to Holophanes, which was a, a very high ranked captain for for um, uh, uh, the Babylonian king. So, the, I'm sorry, the Ammonite chief speaking to Holophanes. So he's going to give you the history of the Israelites in a brief summary. Now therefore, my lord and governor, Huh? If there be any heir in this people, so if there's any sin in this people, the Israelites, read, and they sin against their God, and if we transgress or break the laws of our God, read, let us consider that this shall be their ruin. That's going to be our ruin. Why? Read. And let us go up, and we shall overcome them. Uh huh. But if there be no iniquity in their nation, so. This Ammonite is actually explaining our history. If we're out of sin, God is going to protect us. If we're in sin, we're going to be left up for the other nations to overtake us. Read, finish it out. Let my Lord now pass by. So don't mess with them. Read. Lest their Lord defend them, and their God before them, and we become a reproach before all the world. So the other nations do know about us. So, bro, did you have a question? Because he was here first, bro. Do you have a question? Or are you inebriated? Brother. All right. I got a question, I was talking to the brother. Look at Gomer, right? Okay, look at him. Look at Gomer, right? Okay, now. I look up at the Kanazi. So, before Abraham, who are these people? You know, this is before Abraham or who's called the Hebrew received them. So who are these who call themselves Jews? In the Asian Khazar. And I'm talking about it's the Bible right now. Look up, look up and, uh, what the verse you showed me. Actually, I, I got a I got a question you know I'll answer. So wait, I got one more question. Uh -huh. Listen. Were the Hebrew okay, listen. From my understanding, the Hebrews written themselves into the book. Okay. Yeah, hold on, hold on, hold on. Because you're Don't saying so much. Okay, listen. So we gotta we gotta tackle it in pieces, okay. right? So you're worried about the uh, actually before before Genesis, right? Right, right. Okay. So give me uh they come from Deuteronomy, chapter twelve. Hold on, bro. Give me Deuteronomy twelve. No, actually give me Matthew nineteen. Matthew seventeen. Matthew nineteen. Yes. Because, bro, knowing about that history, what is, how is that going to benefit your nation? It doesn't. So it's, what's, it's a question I have. So what's, what's the point? Because what's, it's just the point that we were asking because it's like, uh, Drop that. Give me, uh, give me Sirach. Sirach. 3 and 20. Sorry, I got to go. Because, bro, the I'm, thing I'm, is, are you going to be over there? Brother, brother. I'm, 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 I'm about to ask you a question. I'll be over there. Give me uh, Sirach 3 and 21. Because this is the thing, we're out here for the edification of our people, to show them that the God's chosen, and to show them that what's required of them is to do God's law. Read that. So Rock, chapter 3, verse 21. Seek not out the things that are too hard for thee. So if that's too hard for you to understand, which it is, because I don't see any laws on you, you're not supposed to seek after those things until you, until you uh, do the, the research and perform God's laws. And what? And yes, and 
And the, the white man did steal our history. That's why they're claiming to be Jewish now. Finish it up. Neither search for the things that are above thy strength. That is above your strength, brother. Because you're worrying about, brother, bro, you're worrying about the history of the Khazars versus your own salvation. How is that going to get you salvation? Over? That's right. You know what? Stop. But what is commanded thee, think thereupon and reverence. So you've been here plenty of times. What was it that we, the prophets of the Most High, told you out of the Bible that they, the Most High God commanded you to do? What? Because you've been here plenty of times. I mean, you ask deep questions and you never do God's law. That's right. That, that's, that's hypocrisy. How in the world are you going to come that's up to the prophets right. of the Most High God? You're not doing law one and then you want to know the deep things in the Bible. That's stupid. Why are our people so so pride hungry on oh knowledge? I want to know it. Finish that out. Ecclesiastes chapter three verse twenty one. Okay, okay. For this is for it is not the evil for people. Be not curious and unnecessary matters. That's unnecessary for you because you have to be on the Most High God law right now. We don't. For more things no are shown unto thee. More things are shown to those that do God's commandments versus those that don't. Then men understand. For many are deceived by their own vain opinion. Who was Osiris? Brother, hold on, listen, I'm just asking. Give me that. Hold on, see. I have to ask you a question. Okay, listen. Matthew, okay, what about the agent and the Osiris? Matthew, chapter 19, verse 17. Read. And he said unto him, Why thou callest me good? There is none good but one that is. Read. God. But if thou wilt enter into life, keep. The commandments. If you want to enter right, into sir. life, keep the commandments. The deepest question you would have asked us was how to perform God's commandments. That's how right. How to eat fringes. How to grow a beard. Because I'm tired of you coming out here and we keep telling you, grow a beard. That's you know, right. Stop asking us deep questions. Finish that out, bro. Uh-uh. This is the mindset of the Negro. They want to know so much, but they still in the ghetto. They're That's not right. Job. They're not performing God's laws. That type of mindset, we're trying to change. That's why we're out here. Read. But I'm short with him. He's been out here plenty of times. He all, how can I get the kingdom? Right. He never asked that. Read. He said to him, which Jesus said, Thou shalt do no murder. Thou shalt not commit adultery. So these are laws that we have to keep. Right. Not to sleep with another man's uh, wife. Read. Not to kill another man. Read. Thou shalt not steal. We ain't supposed to be stealing from uh, one another. Read. Thou shalt not bear false witness. We're not supposed to lie on one another. This is coming out of Christ's mouth. Read. Honor thy mother and thy, excuse me, honor thy father and thy mother. We're supposed to honor our parents because they were commanded in Deuteronomy 6 and 7 to teach us God's laws. That's what we're supposed to be doing. With, with all this, this crack, drugs, hatred out here, that's why our people ain't changing. Because their mindset got to change. Right. Give me that. In, um, Psalms 19, 17. Because the mindset of our people have to change. It's too much stuff in the world going on for us not to see it. It's too much. Read. Psalms 19, excuse me, Psalms 19, verse 7. Read on. The law of the Lord is perfect. It's, the law of the Lord is perfect. There's no law that is more perfect than the Most High God. Read. The law of the Lord is perfect, Read on. converting the soul. Read. The testimony of the Lord is sure, making wise the simple. So it will turn a simple man wise if you study and perform God's laws. Indeed. Why don't y'all want to be wise? You want to sell drugs. You want to lust at the sisters. You want to teach hatred in your dress club, in your dress code, as well as speaking one to another. That's not supposed to happen. Right. All right. Give me um, Exodus 23 and 12. Because it's a brother that came up early that said, uh, uh, "Who wrote the Bible? The Bible is the book of the law." Right. Let's get that. Read Exodus chapter 23, verse 12. 24, 12. 24, 12. Exodus chapter 24, verse 12. 
And the Lord said unto Moses, Come up to me into the mount. So Moses came up to, to God in the mount, read, and be there, and I will give thee tables of stone. So God gave Moses tables of stone, read, and a law and commandments which I have written. Which who has written? Which I have written. Which who has written? Which I have written. So this is showing that the Lord wrote the commandments. That's right. And he gave it to Moses to write. So it's already written before. Finish it out. That thou mayest teach them. Yeah. And Moses rose up and his minister Joshua and Moses went unto the mount of God. So so Mo this is showing you that the the laws were already written by the Most High God. Bro, uh, do you have any questions? Because we're out here for the repentance of our people. For our people to come back to being God-given names versus slave names. That's why we're out here. Not out here to bash our people. We actually love our people. That's why we're out here. Actually, give me that in uh, Leviticus 1917. Because bashing, that's calling our people names and uh, using words outside the Bible. That's what bashing is. All right, give me that. Book of Leviticus, chapter 19 and verse 17. Read. Thou shalt not hate thy brother in thine heart. And how we're not supposed to hate. It's going to show us how not to hate. Thou shalt in any wise rebuke thy neighbor. So rebuke is correction. We're supposed to correct our neighbor in God's laws. That's showing them love in the Bible. So we are showing the highest form of love out here. We love our people in the, oh, enough that we come out to the ghetto to teach them God's law. That, that's our job. We're not American blacks. This was a byword we read in uh, Deuteronomy 2037. This was a byword for our people. We're actually Judah. Because if you read in Genesis 49, that's like a map of where all Jacob's sons were going to be in the last days. That's, that's where this, this chart comes from. It comes from uh, uh, Genesis 49 and Deuteronomy 33rd chapter. The book of Deuteronomy, chapter 28, verse 37. No. And thou shalt become an astonishment, Read. a proverb, uh -huh. and a byword. So a byword is a name given out of your God-given name. Our God-given name was Judah. The byword that was placed on us was American Blacks. It's a byword. You said that? Among all nations, brother the Lord, thy God shall lead thee. Because there's a lot of Caucasians, if you watch CNN or Fox News sometimes, like glance at it, they always say the blacks, the blacks. It's not our name. <laughs> That's not our name. Our name is Judah. It's not black. This is a color. We are brown. How are we black? Explain that to me. How are we black? That was a, that's a byword put on us. So give me the slave ships. Because in slavery, we were scattered in certain areas. Right? We were scattered in certain areas. And we got name in those certain areas. So we don't. The book of Deuteronomy, chapter 28, and verse 68. Read. And the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again with ships. So the Lord, our God, was going to bring us into Egypt this time again. But ships, but let's get what Egypt means. Because it's actually a Greek word that means something. The book of Exodus, chapter 20, verse 2. Read. I am the Lord thy God, which I brought thee out of the land of Egypt, uh -huh. out of the house of bondage. So Egypt is synonymous, so it means the same thing as bondage, slavery, or captivity. That's what Egypt means. Because the name of this of the of the landmass wasn't Egypt. It was actually called Misraim, if you read in uh, Genesis. So go back. The book of Deuteronomy, chapter 28, and verse 68. Read on. And the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again so, with ships. So the Lord our God was going to bring us into slavery or captivity, but this time with ships. Now, I have a question. What group of people, sis, come on. Come over here, sis. Come on, sis. You already been here. You should be doing the laws. We already talked to you last week. So what group or nationality of people went into slavery? In cargo slave ship. <laughs> the so-called black people, right? Did you know that um, the Native Americans went into slavery on slave ship? When Christopher Columbus came over here, <laughs> you know they came with chains. They already knew that our brothers was over here. They came with chains, right? Rounded them up, sent them to Spain, and then everybody wanted to uh, celebrate Thanksgiving, right? That's 
garbage. That's right. They destroyed your brothers, slapped chains on them, took them away from their land, put them in Spain, raped, robbed, and murdered them, and you want to celebrate Thanksgiving. That's garbage. Read on. And the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again with ships. So the, uh, the so-called Hispanics, they've been in the same uh, boat. They was actually taken by the conquistadors. So those three major group of people line up with the hypocrisy, showing that according to their uh, their geographical location, because yeah, we're scattered all over, we are. But the bulk of us is over on this side of the, of the planet. So we don't. If the Lord shall breathe into Egypt again with ships, Be? by the way whereof I spake unto thee. Moses actually told them how they was going to get there. Through the uh, transatlantic slave trade and the Saharan slave trade. Did you know that the Arabs and the Africans had us in slavery? Traded us to the so-called Caucasians or Edomites. Then they shipped us over here. Did you know that? Yeah. So they are enemies. That ain't no friend to me. Read. But the way where have I spake unto thee, Read. thou shalt sin no more again. It's yes. there. All right, the it is our homeland, which is Jerusalem, not Africa. Give me that real quick. Because a lot of people have a misinterpretation that we came from Africa. That is not even scientifically proven. Everybody did not reside from the land of Africa. That's false. That is a false claim that the so-called science of Esau is pushing throughout the world. That's false. The book of Galatians, chapter 4, verse 26. Read on. But Jerusalem, which is above, is free. So Jerusalem is above every nation on this planet. That's why they're fighting over it right now. All these wars are over us. Right. All of them. That's right. They're over us. We're turning back to our homeland. Read it out. But Jerusalem, which is above, is free. Read. Which is mother of us all. Which is the mother of us all. So Jerusalem is the motherland of the so-called Negro people. And I'm talking about the Israelites. Meaning if you... Negro, so-called, if you're Hispanic, so-called, if you're Native American, so-called. That is your homeland, Jerusalem. Shalom, this is I'm Elton Nathaniel, Israel United in Times. YouTube likes to shut our channels down, as some of you have noticed, <laughs> ever so often. Subscribing to join IUIC will assure you will always stay connected to our YouTube accounts. We want to do our best to make sure this truth gets out. Please click and join our subscriber YouTube channel called Join IUIC to stay linked to all of our videos. So again, Please make sure you subscribe to this and join our UIC channel to get your latest updates from all our YouTube channels. Shalom.